So let's continue on and this is part 5 of creating the zoom range slider in Chart.js 4. So right now what I want to do is I want to make sure that this dot is starting to move. So let's scroll down here and what we're going to do is we're going to get the positioning and the positioning of this needs a few things. First of all we are here. So what I'm going to do in here is we're going to say here arcs.change equals True. This is an important item and the reason why is if you do this, it will start to indicate that it will redraw everything here above. It will start to redraw that. That's what we want to do because we want to redraw it. But when we redraw this right now, if I just save this and, and do it like this, you see it will do nothing. And the reason why it does, doesn't redraw this in the new position is we have a hard coded position here. So this arc which is the button needs to be readjusted with a soft coded item and for this we're going to use hoisting so as i mentioned earlier we had here somewhere the specific the dragging although i'm wondering if the dragging needs to be hoisted like that i'm not sure maybe we can even remove that one but what i do need to know is the position of the arc or let's say the let's say position circle position the circle position equals by default I will say this is undefined undefined or uh, let's put an undefined I'm not sure maybe we can later on put it on zero we can we can look at it later on next what we want to do is if I scroll down here we have this minimum value here this minimum value calculates basically the position as well I just don't know exactly what was this of course well this is the index all right this is the index number so this min will later be for this here if we have an x scale we can say a comma we can say here min uh, min let's say 10 if we do this it will start to work like that but of course this is right now hard coded and that min will be soft coded uh, immediately impacting this here nicely so we're going to leave that alone we're going to do we will do this all dynamically with our code so we have this true here then you will see here the following let's grab this here this let min i'm going to remove and this is a here hoisting let's make this a hoisting going up here uh let min and we can just say by default we'll set the min on zero all right so if i do this now if i start to drag this we have this i want to see can i communicated here if i say here console log min we should be able to see that this value here will now because of the arcs change move up to here and that's a very interesting movement so right now it's zero but if i move this you can see here now it starts to move nicely all right so that works so let's continue on let's go to the exciting one for the circle position so if we have this this circle position you can say can we put it on the left well no the reason why we cannot put it or we can put it but we have to define this the reason why right now here this is a variable and this variable here is is already defined here so i cannot put it in here whatever that value is but what we can do because this is undefined i can just do a very simple option here I'm going to say a constant uh oh sorry not not constant but i'm going to say a circle position circle position and then here we can say here the circle position will be equal to circle position but if the circle position is undefined or has no value in that case i want to assign here left and remember we grab this one and put it in there so it's like another way to work around with it and it's very useful so if i save this refresh all right of course it doesn't work yet let's move this circle position down here let's change this left save that here refresh let's see what we have now here all right not yet and the reason why we don't have it yet because we didn't define the circle position here so what i want to do with the circle position here well we can just say here uh, arcs dot uh well should we do that arcs dot event dot x well let's see like that save that so we get these coordinates then we should see a movement here and as you can see here all right that's interesting we're hitting quite far here maybe even too far on the very end here so we have to check on that one with the right maybe what i will do instead of right i guess that's an issue here it's probably too far let's see if we can change that by saying 
width plus left. I already did that in my notes, but I guess I thought that we could refactor it, making it shorter, but probably doesn't work. So let's say here, if we go here, all right, doesn't work as well. Uh, anyway, oh, well, let's say maybe minus 10. Let's just see here. I'll just later on check. All right, you can see here, it will work to a certain extent. Somehow it just makes, doesn't matter. We can fine tune this later on. We can do here, maybe on the right, 20 pixels more than if we move that and hit. All right, interesting. It still grabs here. We probably have to check or fine tune here something. So we have here the length minus length, maybe the minus two. I have to see on that one. If I do this, no. All right, I will look at later on. However, we have the movement working. That's the most important one. What we do have here is like some parts you have to maybe consider like this. If I mouse out, what will happen is now I lose, I have mouse up and I can still move this button here. I don't want this too much. It's a bit weird. So what I will do here up is just do here a mouse out. We can just say here, uh, mouse out. We can copy this. If and the mouse out is a built in functionality from ChartJS, or at least ChartJS have that based on this. So if you don't know which, which, uh, events they have recorded built in, check out this here, console log this and do all these movements, mouse in, mouse out, up click, down click, anything you want. Just test them all out. So then what I will say here, if this is the case, the mouse out, then what I want to do is, oh, I want to say your dragon will be false. So if I do that, you will see here, if I move, oh, uh, no, that's mouse move. Don't do that. Mouse out. There we are. So now if I am out here, you can see here now, if I move, it's being stopped immediately. So I do see here the clicking works to or click move might work. So we have this here. Next video, we're going to make sure that this is being communicated down here with this. And then we have the min of the scale being adjusted nicely.